A water leak in Walker County is said to be able and now to cost hundreds of thousands of dollars to repair, and it's going to take several months to fix it. The leak is being managed by the Copeland Ferry Pumpkin Center Water Authority, which serves more than 300 customers. ABC 3340's Ashley Gooden is live at the site of the leak. Ashley? Pam, you can't see the leak because it is beneath the surface of the Black Warrior, Warrior River. Now, where I'm standing, you can hear it, and you can hear it when you're boating in the area. It's an expensive fix that could take around three months to fix. It's a beautiful day on the Black Warrior River, but under the surface, there's a big problem. A broken pipe is gushing. We was losing 126 to 140 uh, gallons a minute. Tens of thousands of gallons of water each day. Normally in a leak that big, I'll have actually people calling with low pressure or water problems. I wasn't getting any calls, uh, so I start looking. The Copeland Ferry Pumpkin Center Water Authority buys water from Cordova, which buys water from Jasper. When they found the leak, they realized it would cost around $300,000 to fix, which warrants a bidding process. Well, uh, actually, choose a contractor the 27th so you're looking at at least two months out before we actually get anything started or done it's not a simple fix a directional bore machine will have to drill 10 feet below the river and 500 feet across it to remove the old pipe and replace it with a new one and bring it back up and they'll tie in on each side of the river and tie it back together we'll have to pull a sample and pressure test it and then we'll put it right back in service there's a joint effort on the county and state level to secure funding. Without that money, the Water Authority says they would have to raise their rates. Sanford tells me there has been a steady flow of that leak since about April 17th. He does not anticipate customers will be impacted unless another leak happens to cause any additional trouble. Live in Walker County, Ashley Gooden, ABC 3340 News.